Jay. 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 I'm tired. <laughs> this heat is just freaking knocked me out, dude. Oh. I hate to ask you, man. Can you make me some coffee? You're just like a kid. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna cut. Well, a cup. Well, pain. Will you make me a cup of coffee or not? Yeah. Thank you, because I'm tired. You want me to come help? Out, man. I know. I was getting ready to go. So you want me to come help? Yeah, sure. Cool. Oh, it just happens to be right here in the kitchen. Uh, let me know when you need help, dude. I'll be there in a minute. I know you're a purist. Okay. Well, whose fault is that? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. It's, got it's the, yours. Got the Chemex and the drip. I'm going to show you both. Okay. okay. So real quick, Chemex. What? This is like a, it's just a brand. It's this pot right here. We use these filters. It's kind of a double filter system. I know it almost looks like a beaker or something. It could be illegal, but it's kind of cool. Uh, French press, your standard, regular French yeah, press. That's what I've been using lately. So what's the difference between the well, uh, two? Well, as you can see, I'm grinding the beans freshly right now with a hand grinder. Mm -hmm. It takes a little longer than the electric one. Uh, there's a lot of different theories about it. I don't know either way. I get into the science of it. I'm not a doctor, but people have said, reading into it, listening to stories that when you filter the, the coffee through these types of filters like this, that it's actually healthier for you. Oh. Whereas with, with the French press, where you're, you're just putting the coffee in there, pouring the water over, let it, let it steep for about five minutes, then plunging it down and pouring it. And you, know, you sometimes get a little sediment, which it doesn't bother me, right. but they say that's not exactly the healthiest way. I okay. still believe, you know, coffee is good all the way around. I yeah. drink it. I like it both ways. Right, well, I was just going to ask you, because that was the only my uh, gripe about the French press, is getting those grounds. Yeah. Okay. That's the end of it. I like them both. Yeah. So we'll just try this. If you haven't had this, we'll try this one and we'll do French press. I'm looking forward to it. And I got... When I'm making two cups of coffee, I'm doing uh, two and a half scoops of beans into this thing for that. So. And this being the scoop. And then I'll actually, with this thing, since you can't really measure it like you can on that, I'll actually use a measuring cup and pour a cup of water for, for coffee. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm actually See, it takes yeah. a little longer with this. I'm excited. I'm getting ready to fall asleep, though. How much longer do you have to spin it? Another hour. Uh, Do, 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 do. The elevator music. It does take a while. Come on, it's almost a two. Oh, I forgot to tell you, there's no coffee in there. Oh, did you take it out? Yeah. Okay. Right. There we go, almost. Almost there. Keep going. No resistance. Yeah, a little bit. Can you hear it? No resistance. I'm going to call that good. There's still a couple will be. There we go. Now we're good to go. So, double side goes towards the pour side. Just kind of put it down in there. It's very kind of kind of crude. Oh, that smells good. So yeah, we'll do that and then do some French press. I'll just use some regular coffee for that. So what are we doing here? What kind of coffee you got here? Just some plain? Have, yeah, I have some uh, black rifle coffee that I use. I love this coffee. I'll put a scoop in here right now because since we're going to compare, we already got a double batch over okay. here. Plus, so oh, so I, I use a scoop. Here, though, man. Yeah, it smells delicious. Man. And this will just be about eight ounces of coffee. Okay. Uh, for this one, yeah, I will have to use a measuring cup to pour it in. Sorry. Well, you said you're doing one cup to the one and a half scoops? Or did you say a double batch and you go two cups for this one? I'm just curious, because if it comes out, I might try to look for one of these. What I do with those is, uh, for each cup, depending, it's kind of like with the French press, however strong oh. the coffee is, if you're using a real real strong, real bold coffee, one scoop is good. Okay. If it's kind of weak, then use a scoop and a half. Okay. So I put actually um, two and a half scoops in there, because it's kind of a medium roast, since we're both having coffee. Okay. And this one right here, since this is really a bolder coffee, just one scoop, and we're just gonna kind of sip it because that smells good though. I can't wait. Okay. Yeah, can, can I grab that one more time? Yeah, go ahead. Absolutely. Oh, oh my god, it smells really good. It smells delicious. It smells delicious. Excuse me, if I gotta grab it. So I always stir it too once I put it in there. I think there's some health benefits in coffee too, right? That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So they say if you watch a pot, you want to eat more. So don't look at it. Don't look at it. Something else with this with this coffee pot too. Unlike 
the French press, with this thing, once you get a little bit of water, once it starts dripping through and you can see it on the bottom, you can actually put it back on the burner and keep it. Because it takes a while for it to drip through there. So for when I'm making coffee for others who want their coffee, I don't care if it's super hot or not. It doesn't matter. As long as it's warm, I'm good with it. But people that like it really hot, I just put it back on the burner, drop the heat down, shrink the burner down a little bit with the button, and just let it sit there while it's pouring through there and it keeps the coffee warm. Okay. So let me ask you, in your French roast, have you tried doing that overnight in the refrigerator cold coffee? Or you don't drink cold coffee though, right? My coffee is I start off hot, and by the end of the day comes, if I'm still drinking it, okay. like if I've got a big coffee, it'll be cold by the end of the day and I'm fine with that. So I've yet to try that, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, we got a little steam, okay, so let's do a little, I'm not an expert, but I just asked people who know, I had a friend of a friend that was a barista, so put a little bit of water on it and just let it, uh, Open up. It's opening up. It's breathing. It's, bl it's blooming. That's what we're doing here. It's kind of like with some of the teas I used to drink. It's about 30 seconds. Are you counting to 30? Do you remember where I went to school? Yeah. I can, I can do it on my phone. Let me move these cups out of the way. 10. 15. While we're doing that, I'm going to get a, a cup here for this one. 20. I say about 10 more seconds and we're about 30. I'm going to fill this one up right here since it's... Uh, Get the other one. Uh, you can turn that off. I'm not going to put it back on the burner. So, Okay, so with the French press, I'll just give it a quick stir right here. Kind of get it all activated. And uh, put five, sec five minutes on that timer. Let it steep for a little bit. One cup. And you just kind of pour it back and forth very slowly. And see how the coffee is in the bottom of that right now, Mark? Yeah. You could actually put that back on the burner right now if you really wanted it to be, to stay hot, which it's not I, gonna be plenty hot, right? I don't like coffee like it's been cooked in a nuclear reactor. Go one more cup since there's I put enough beans in there for two cups. What's interesting is you think, oh, it's no big deal, it's very simple, but you know, sometimes the simplest things are the best. I made it like this for a couple of family members that were staying with us at from out of town, and one of them who's a really hard sell, he's related to me, he's a lot younger than me. I think I know who you're talking about. He's got a beard. Well, they both got beers. Yeah. The older of the two. Yeah, he really liked it. He said, wow, that was really good. Could you make that again? And for him to say that, that's huge. So now we we'll just sit here and it's like uh, watching paint dry. Ah, uh, no, this is a lot better now. I think the smell is awesome. But you can see how it's getting down in there, see? And then you'll know when it stops dripping, yank the filter out, and I just throw it away. And you just wash it and reuse the filter? No. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, Grandma, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna smooth out the aluminum foil and put it back in the roll. Could I use just a plain white sock? <laughs> if you like the the aroma of feet with your coffee, <laughs> I'd stick with that for yeah. cheese. We're done. We're good. Okay, so let's pull this out. So don't be suspicious. This still don't has uh, another another minute or so. All right. So make two cups of these. A these, a these, like these, like these. Slow motion pour. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, we can do a slow motion pour. Ooh. That's okay, so we got that. Okay, and I think the French press has been going for five minutes now. So, French press on this side. I'm going to push it down right. Oh, my finger! Okay, so let's pour a little bit of this in. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Oh, Bill. See that little froth on the top? I yeah. like that. 
And so you can see that other one looks a little more filtered. Okay, so this is what we have here. French press. Okay, so which one do you want to try first? Okay, so because I, I kind of know how this is going to go, just because I've had that and I've, I've enjoyed that type of coffee before, I'm going to try this one first. Right. You take that one right there. I'll take so, this one. Cheers. Clink. Mm, good. Oh, Bill. Wow. That is good, man. That's a very good cup. Yeah. And there's no grinds, which it's very no grinds. It's nice. Okay, so now let's do this. Let's try. Let's go with a French press. Mm. All right. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Cheers. Clink. Good. See, but okay. See if you're getting what I'm getting when you taste that. It's a little. Well, it's a little darker rose for one, but it's a little more grainy. grainy. Yeah. See, see yeah. with that you can't taste it. I guess that's what they're talking about. The difference where okay. that double filter filters that out of it. So. Yeah. Oh, definitely. definitely. I can't pick one or the other. I like them both. They're both good. They're just different. So. And you know, I wouldn't turn down either one of them. But I do like this. This is just kind of gives it more. Uh, Mark, slow down. <laughs> He's been drinking coffee for four hours. <laughs> hey, I'm awake now, though. Yeah, no, well, yeah. I, you know what? I wasn't expecting you to make uh, two different kinds for me, but I'm, I'm glad you did, though. I'm, I'm going to look into that. But, uh, man, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I have a preference, though, really. I mean, I understand the graininess of it, but... Um, sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. Yeah, you know, I'm honestly, when I, when I wake up, it's kind of like whatever I'm in the mood for. It's like, hey, when you get up to leave, you're going to drive your car or your truck, you know? What are you going to take? What do you, you just, whatever you take my car because I don't have a truck, but you know, I'm thinking hypothetical. Okay. I work with them. Oh, sorry. 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 Anyway, you know, uh, he's uh, all amped up on the coffee now. I don't have any questions. You know any questions? Mm. Cheers. Thanks again for uh, making a coffee. And like I said, spoiling me with the two types of uh, coffee. But uh, again, this is another episode of Mark and Jay. Please subscribe to our channel. Subscribe, subscribe, tell a friend. Um, we look forward to uh, doing more videos and uh, we'll see you on the next time around. So again, like us, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Subscribe. 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 All right, subscribe. Guys. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I said, you know, you got all this coffee here. I mean, I like the coffee. Did you some ice cream today? Did you want good. some coffee? But the, the French press is really no, good. No, French they're press both good. good. They're yeah, both good. Yeah, well, that coffee over there, but the wash over here. Did you go back? Was it hot today or not? Do you like the cold weather? Like I'm not. We're going to Grand Canyon. I like the Grand Canyon. Did you like the cold weather? We're going to Grand Canyon, are we? You know, these floors are pretty good. You think, you think the white paint came out? Right? You know, the coffee's really good. White t-shirt really goes good with it. You know, I kind of like the way this comes out over here, but the first press is really good too. But yeah, but this one's going to be... Yeah, hang on. Let me grab all the rest from here. Hang on.